Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, where Let's Playing Dragon Quest Swords. In the last episode, I, uh, we got to, uh, I forgot the, the Northern Field, and then I'm going to Calvern Cave for the Walk of the Worthy. Anyways, uh, what I did was I changed some things on the Wii Mo thing, so that you can hear the footsteps and other sounds that you might hear. Anyways, let me know, because the next three episodes, we'll have them. So here's the real battle. Here's the first real battle against the slime. Pretty easy enough. And then you just slap. Come on. Get it. Get him. All right, there we go. I don't like uh, clicking points, but sometimes I do it. And so let's head on. Definitely want to check every metal. Or every uh, bush. It's uh, it can be a bitch. But yeah, isn't this music awesome? And I really like how they got the clouds like on the in the sky there, and then like there's cloud cover on the ground. That's really awesome. So yeah, you can get random mini metals. I think. I think they're random. Cause look at that, I just got two. Sweet sassy molassy. And here's a new enemy, red slime guy. See, I thought they were gonna attack me. Obviously not. Take that, slimes. And that's how you go up levels. Oh, on the bottom, the little red line shows your level experience grid. The blue line is your master strokes. Every time you hit someone, it goes up 1%, and then you have your HP. And I'll show it again when I get in another battle. So yeah, isn't that cool? You can see the cave in the background there. Like, we're getting closer. It's awesome. I really, like... I just really love these, this game and Dragon Quest VIII. Like, just how cool the world is and stuff. So yeah, I'm trying to check these bushes here. Oh, and here's another new enemy. What these guys will do is will throw dirt in your face. And I think it makes you less accurate. And then he, they go right into attack, so you might want to block that. But since I'm a badass, I, I'm just going for it. And dodge it with your shield. Try to dodge it in the middle if, if you can. So yeah, on the bottom is where... You, now, there, you have to... I don't know any way you can get both of them, but yeah. So the red, the blue, and the green. And I'll show you how to use items and stuff later. When I need to use them, I guess. So, yeah, just check check every bush while you're walking around. And after you beat this level, you can always come back. It's pretty sweet. New enemy, the giant eyeball guy. Yeah, they, usually they try to attack first. Like right here, I don't know why he wasn't attacking. So I was like, screw it. And if you wait long enough, he'll fall asleep. And then, yeah, those are... If you kill enemies, they'll ran... I don't know if it's random, but they'll drop... They'll drop stuff. Now, as you can see, part of my shield kind of broke there. And you, there's nothing in the hole. I thought you could inspect the hole. I guess not. Anyways, let's keep going. Yeah, the best place to gain gold and stuff. Oh, more enemies. See how my shield's broken on the left-hand side? Because if you don't dodge... You know what? Let's use a mighty strike before they hit me with uh, both their sand. Although you probably shouldn't use it right here. Thrust your sword into the sky. I have the power! He-Man, baby. See, I should've used it against these guys. See, and I'm like, when are they gonna attack? But they never did, so I just took them out. Well, I'm taking them out. Level 4 already, not bad. You can get more gold, yes. Yeah, sometimes it can be annoying just keep looking at these things, but you gotta, because... You can get money, you can get items, like that. You can get, you can get all kinds of good stuff. You know, 
And so, yeah, I put the footsteps in, because also you can hear other stuff, too. So, let me know what you think. Uh, the next three episodes will be like that. Welcome to Caliburn Cave. There's no mistaking a son of old clay or is there? I mean, look how easy you've got here. But this is just the start of the Walk of the Worthy. Are you ready for the true test ahead? Hell yeah! Great. Well, here are a few things to help you on your way. Use one if things get hairy in there. I don't need no medical herbs, man. Oh, well, okay. I guess I could use it. May the goddess be with you. I pray that she will see you safe through the challenges that lie ahead. All of your limbs still attached. Yeah, unlike Claymore, sadly. But yeah. I don't know which, uh, which dad I like more. I think I like Papa's more. Out of, so far, out of, uh, video, uh, Dragon Quest Fathers. I think I like Papa's the best. Because he's the man. Now here we are in Calburn Cave. Isn't it pretty with the crystals and the, the cool, like, music? You get, like, a nice feel. And here's a new enemy, Drakey. Now what these guys will do is they'll hang out in the background and then they'll come forward. And they'll, they'll actually come in various positions like that. And you want to be able to take them out. And if you don't take them out, they will run away. So yeah, these guys... Yeah, see, this is why you should set a focal point sometimes. Come on, there we go. Definitely set a focal point. And just take him out. And, oh, come on. Come on. Get him. Oh, he's probably going to run away. Yeah. That's all right. I kind of like how they show the sword that you're using when you start the battle and end the battle. Like you're unsheathing it. It's cool. All right, here's a new enemy, Babel. Basically what they do is they'll shoot a projectile at you. If that hits you, you will become poisoned. Plus, you can only hit them vertically and diagonally. You cannot hit them horizontally. They'll jump over it. And yeah, so basically you want to try to protect, you know, block in the middle of your shield. Also, yeah, you can use thrust if, if you want. But yeah, if you get hit by this thing, poison. And basically you don't want to go, in, this, in the beginning, just to get good practice, you don't want to go, you don't want to go slashing into everything. Practice on getting your accuracy correct. Trust me, when I first played this game, I had no accuracy at all. I'm making this look very easy. But I have beaten this game a bunch. See, you can't you can't attack them vertically. Or, I mean, horizontally. But yeah, you definitely want to practice uh, attacking, uh, you know. Because you, you get, at the end, you get, like, bonuses for accuracy and stuff. Alright, here's a new enemy. And here's what they explain with the projectiles. You can deflect you can deflect the blue ones. So basically, if you can, focal point that and then and then attack. Come on, bastard. Yeah. Take that. And then those rocks will crumble, as you see. Let's check this rock. Yeah, always check the rocks around in the caves at least. Every level has its own thing that you check. Ooh, what's in this? A lucky bag. Basically what lucky bags are is items that you can keep even if you leave. Even if you leave, uh, the, say you want to leave the, uh, the cave, you can still keep them. And so, yeah, here's my items. Antidote herbs, milk herbs, and shield power powder. That'll fix your stuff. And notice how my shield's kind of messed up on the bottom? And other stuff. They don't show the lucky bag until you actually beat the level. Or leave the level, and then they show you. So yeah, here's another point where you can go either left or right. They do that every once in a while. And right now it's blocked by a giant boulder, so we can't go there at the moment. We will eventually get a technique or an item or something that can break through there. So let's continue this way. And now we got two lily puzzles. And you just want... You just want to hit their projectiles back at them, otherwise you you can't really beat them due to the fact that, that they'll just keep shooting that stuff. Unless you have a buddy with you and then they can cast a spell 
and then they die. All right, Malka herb. A hundred gold. I like that. All right, here's another battle. All right, knock that back at him. Nice job. Yeah, it's, it's easy to set the focal point and then and then hit him. Oh, oh, I was too fo worried about that damn Drakey. And see, I oh, I hit the rock. I kind of like how that's realistic like that. Well, sort of. I mean, you can't knock back a arrow with your sword, but that is pretty cool about the... It'll break the rock in front of me. Anyways, this is all uh, for this episode. I, this is Kenshin1913, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.